Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you. I'm so excited for today's video because yet again, we are gonna see how we can become more adequate, confident, and self-loving women. Today's topic is a topic that is dearly close to my heart because I feel like this is something that is very much an unpopular opinion from what I see based on today's social media and today's pop culture, but it's something that I think has or can bring a lot of value if you're looking to be in a long-term happy and healthy relationship. Today we're gonna to be talking about why you should respect your boyfriend, your fiance, your husband, your man. Now, I know, before you come at me and you're like, estás loca, nos tratan mal, nos ponen el cuerno, how dare you, men don't reserve respect, all men do is cheat, lie, y todas esas cosas malas. Let me tell you, I, I'm on your side. I will always be on your side. I'm a woman, I stand for women, and my goal in life is to make sure that you live a happy life. So today we're gonna be hitting some, some true cold hard facts and we may not like it, but sometimes we need to look at ourselves in the mirror and say, how can I become a better partner, a better wife, a better girlfriend, a better fiance? Because at the end of the day, your partner is the one relationship you choose. The majority of the rest of the relationships in your life happen to you, this man you chose. Let's get started with today's video, but before we do, I do wanna let you guys know that this video was actually inspired by the YouTuber Brini Lee, and her video is called Are Female Rappers Glamorizing Toxic Relationships? I will link her down in the description. Her whole channel is so inspirational. Definitely a breath of fresh air because she is a beautiful woman who's literally dropping so many cold, hard facts about what it's like to be a woman in this day and age that wants a healthy and loving relationship she goes on to some points in a lot more depth that I'm barely briefly gonna touch on but her video did inspire me to make this one so I would highly suggest that you go watch it right after this one That man calls his wife and lets him know he got tickets or he got invited to a game and his friends are very much hyping him up being like, oh, tell her that you're going, that you're not asking or whatever. Now, here's the deal. In a healthy relationship, the man would say, all right, let me talk to my wife about it. Or yeah, for sure, let's go. He will then come home, talk to his wife, and then they would discuss if he would go or what, like, what needs to get done in order for him to go. Just the same way that if I wanted to go somewhere and I was married, I would say, I would tell to my, I would tell my husband, hey, my sister and I want to take a trip. It's on this date. Does that work for us? Is there anything going on? Um, just talking about it. When you marry someone, you are agreeing to the fact that your life is no longer only yours. You are sharing your life with somebody else. Therefore, they do have to be in the known about what you want to do. When I posted a TikTok on my platform and I talked about this, a lot of women were giving me pushback saying that no se manda solo, es mi esposo, I get to say where he goes, I get to say where he doesn't go, I get to talk to him however I want. You guys are being sensitive. Why, do you, why are you making a big deal out of this? But here's the deal, you guys. For the majority of the time men won't tell you how they feel about these specific situations and they won't communicate how it makes them feel when you belittle them disrespect them and call them out of their name until it's too late i have seen firsthand how relationships get broken because a lot of times the wife will call her husband names she will make fun of him to make other people laugh she will raise her voice at him she will call him out of his name and she will do playing disrespectful things to belittle him and to show her and to show him who wears the pants in the relationship. Now I do want to clarify and say a disclaimer that if you 
are in a toxic relationship, none of the advice to which I'm saying matters. This only applies for a healthy relationship in which you're respected, you're loved, and you are getting nurture out of your partner. If you're in a healthy relationship and you are belittling your man, you are calling him out of his name, disrespecting him and making fun of him, just so that you can show him who wears the pants in the relationship, you are on the fast track to make sure that your marriage and your partnership fails. Something that a lot of men won't tell you is that above feeling love, they want to feel free and respected. Now, you know, you're going to listen to this and you're going to be like, oh my God, free. What does that mean? Like th that doesn't mean that he just gets to do whatever he wants. I'm not going to let him cheat on me. I'm not going to let him talk to other women. And by no means am I saying you should let that happen. What I'm saying is in order for a man to feel like he's thriving in a relationship, he wants to feel free and respected. What does freedom mean? That means that he wants to feel like he can come and go as he pleases, of course, while letting you know. You can have a boundary and saying like, hey, can you let me know when you get to a certain place, if you're gonna come home later, if you're gonna go out with your friends for a drink at the end of the night. It's okay to have communication, but you have to remember you are not his mom, you are not his boss. You marry for an equal partnership, therefore he doesn't have to listen to you like you are his mother. Respect is something we all wanna feel regardless of what gender we are. My partnership, I want to feel loved and respected. In his side of the partnership, he wants to feel free and respected. Respect is a thing that we both have in common. Freedom is more important to men the majority of the time, and love and affection is more important to women the majority of the time. Nowadays, we live in a culture where we are often told by song lyrics, by quotes, by women on social media telling us that you should be independent, you shouldn't need any man to do anything, that your husband or your man shouldn't be telling you what to do, that you should wear the pants in the relationship, that you should be able to have your own income and be 50-50 because you never know what's gonna happen and you can't trust any man even if you married him. In a way, there's some degree of truth to some of these things, but I don't necessarily think you should be in a relationship with someone that you can't fully trust. If you're in a relationship waiting for something bad to happen and you're stashing your money away just in case he cheats on you, just in case he turns out to be psycho someday, just in case X, Y, and Z, why are you in a relationship with this man to begin with? Now, granted, I know that there's cases where you never saw it coming, there was no red flags, there's no way you could have ever known, which is okay. I'm not talking about those scenarios. I'm talking about the scenarios in which he has already cheated on you and you're with him hoping that he won't do it again, but you're stashing money away just in case you have to leave. I'm talking about the relationships where you constantly have to talk down to him to show him that you're independent and you can feel vulnerable and trusting in your man. In Brandy Lee's video, she talks about how a lot of female rappers rappers like to put this facade of being independent and talking about how they don't need no man and how they're scamming men out of money and they don't have feelings and they just want to go out and drink when in reality a lot of these female rappers are not living that in their personal life she talked about examples like the city girls jt being with lil uziver and how he's so disrespectful to her and she just allows it to happen she talked about the scenario where sweetie was showing off how your men is supposed to get you expensive bags and expensive of cars but in reality that was those were just presents that her boyfriend was giving her in order to be forgiven for cheating on her and then she of course talks about Beyonce about how she sang single ladies but she was married the whole time when you're consuming media you have to remember that a lot of these people are not are not talking about the things that they are living at the bottom of it all we all want to be loved we all want to be appreciated and we all like to we all want to be respected men and women equally so when these women are singing about things that are popular like scamming men not needing anybody having a hot girl summer making sure that you never depend on a man if a woman is telling you you can't trust any man, it's because she's had experiences that have made her believe that she can trust a man. And you can see this even in our family dynamics. I grew up in a home where a lot of my tias and, a, and my mom included told me things like that. And that caused trauma and it caused me to have my doubts about certain relationships that I've had to undo and I've had to work through in order to have a healthy relationship, which is why I'm very careful about the things that I share. And I will never say anything like all men are trash, all men cheat 
cheat or anything like that to my audience. When I say that you need to trust your man, it's because I want you all to be in happy, loving relationships where you can be vulnerable. If you are with someone that you constantly have to watch out what he's doing, where he's at, who he's gonna be hanging out with, what time is he gonna come home, etc., etc. Why are you with this man? People show you who they are very early on in their relationship and we stay with them thinking that we'll change them, that they'll eventually become who we want them to be and that eventually they'll grow out of disrespecting us. If a man was disrespecting you in the beginning of a relationship and you still chose to marry him and have kids with him, that was your choice. You chose to stay in a relationship with someone that showed you who he was from the very beginning and now you're mad at the fact that you can control something that you couldn't even control when it was just you and him. A marriage won't make a man change, having kids won't make a man change, and you being upset and disrespecting him won't make a man change. A man who wants to be with you will continue to be with you because he loves you. And you giving him the freedom to go out with his friends, to hang out with his friends after work, to go and have a beer, to go and play tennis, to go and play golf, to go and do what he wants to do, and then him choosing to come home to you, it's a choice that we get to make every single day. You trying to control your partner by saying, you need to come home right now. What are you doing? What are you out there? It's never gonna work. And if you're in a relationship right now and you're thinking to yourself, Oh my God, I'm literally thinking about my boyfriend because he already comes home at three in the morning and I never know where he's at and he's disrespecting me and he speaks to me a certain way, run run because you're gonna end up like these women that are upset at the fact that their husband is coming home at seven, eight in the morning and they don't know where they're at. Man will show you really early on who they are. Pop culture telling you that you have to be an independent woman when you are in a healthy, loving relationship is toxic. When you are in a healthy and loving relationship where you can be vulnerable, you can be loving, and you can fully trust is counterintuitive. Trying to be independent from your partner that you chose is the fastest way to make sure that you end up single. Because at the end of the day, choosing to be with someone means choosing to trust them, choosing to be vulnerable with them, and choosing to love them. If you feel like you have to yell at your boyfriend disrespect him, make fun of him in front of people, or just you don't feel like he's the type of man that you wanna be with, remember that you always have a choice as to who you're with. If you're with a man that you don't respect, that grosses you out, that you don't feel like you can trust or look up to, and I mean that in all senses of the word, you're probably not in the right relationship. When you are in your feminine energy and you have a man that's resting in his masculine, you are gonna feel comfortable to sit back and trust him, regardless of what he's doing, regardless of where he's at, regardless of who he's with. When a man truly wants to be with you and he loves you, he will feel more inclined to be around you and love you and come home earlier and do things for you when you don't nag him when you don't try to control him, when you don't trick him into doing the things that you want. Men are really smart, you guys. Even if we can't see it, and even if sometimes we think otherwise, you can't trick someone into doing something for you. You can't get away with it for too long. And at the end of the day, disrespecting and calling names and yelling and nagging is not what any man wants to come home to. I understand that you probably feel desperation, you feel like this is an attack on you and you feel like I'm single-handedly cal calling you out. I'm not. If any of this resonated with you and you feel like you're in a position where you have to constantly nag at your husband, you have to yell at him, you call him names, you scream all the time, you have a choice as to what you get to do. You can decide from this point forward, I will no longer interact with that. If he goes out, let him and see what time he comes home on his own. The only thing you can control is yourself. If he screams at you, you don't scream back. And you say something along the lines of, when you're ready to talk, I'll be here. And remember, this is only if you're not in an abusive relationship. You get to decide the kind of woman, wife, partner that you'll be. And if you want to have a healthy, loving, and trusting relationship, the only thing you can start controlling right now is yourself. You can make a pact with yourself to say, I will no longer interact with someone that's calling me out of my name, that's yelling at me, or that, that is disrespecting my boundaries. And above all, remember, in order to get what you want, you have to be willing to let go of what you already have. 
if you have a boyfriend that's not this that's not respecting your boundaries that you have to call out of his name that you have to yell at you have to let him go in order to find a husband that you respect and look up to and feel vulnerable with don't let your desperation and your loneliness be the reason why you end up in a toxic relationship. I know pop culture upraises and talks about being toxic y la toxica, like it's the best thing that you can be. Trust me, it's not. It's exhausting and it's not something you want to live up to for the rest of your life. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please consider leaving it a thumbs up. If you are a self-proclaimed toxica and you think I'm out of my mind for thinking that you should respect your husband, girl, I'm praying for you. I'm praying. Because at the end of the day, remember, you can't control anyone else but yourself. So even if you spend the rest of your life tracking that man and literally following him, if he wants to cheat, he will find a place, a time, and a reason to do it. Las quiero mucho. Muchísimas gracias por ver mi video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. And if you don't know, Friday, May 7th, I'm going to be dropping my Apodaca Jewel drop. If you guys don't know me, I am the owner of Apodaca Jewel, which is a small jewelry business and in which we're going to be dropping cute little pieces like this one, like this one, and like this beautiful bow. So that's going to be it for me, you guys. Click the link down below to join Patreon for early access or the Apodaca Jewel Instagram link further down below. Las quiero and I'll see you guys at the next video.